The most important part of the role play card are the tasks. And for each task, there's an important verb that tells you exactly what to do, like explain or highlight or allay. In this video, we're going to learn all the key phrases you need for every possible task. If you're not yet a subscriber to this YouTube channel and you have an OET test coming up, then I strongly suggest that you click that subscribe button for high quality, trustworthy OET prep videos. So here is an example roleplay card. For each task, there are important verbs. These important verbs tell you exactly what you need to do for each of the tasks. You can see that this roleplay card's important verbs are find out, request, explain, highlight, reassure and suggest. There are seven of them. Of course, when you do the role play on test day, there'll be lots of back and forth in between each task and things will get kind of messy because in effect, you're having a conversation. But the important verbs should mark the beginning of each new task. But how will you know which important verbs you might get on test day? Well, I did an analysis of a big stack of OET role play cards and came up with the following list. On test day, you might have to request information, as indicated by the verbs find out and ask. You may have to check understanding, as indicated by the verbs check or determine. You might have to give information, as indicated by the verbs explain, advise, recommend, outline, suggest and discuss. You might need to change the patient's mind, as indicated by the verbs persuade, emphasize, stress, reinforce, promote, convince, and express concern. And you may have to make the patient feel better, as indicated by the verbs allay, reassure, encourage, and respond to. As we go through this video, we're going to hear from Mark. Mark is one of E2's expert OET teachers. Mark is going to play the role of the medical professional and demonstrate to you the key phrases that you need for each of those verbs. Great, let's firstly learn some key phrases to request information. Requesting information will be indicated by the key verbs find out or ask on your roleplay card. Listen to how Mark requests information. Mrs. Smith, I'd like to find out more about your headaches. Would you mind telling me when they started? So Mark explicitly told the patient he would like to find out more about and then use the phrase, would you mind? Some other key phrases that you can use to find out or ask are would you or do you mind, would you or could you please, do you think you could, do you think it would be possible to, would it be possible for you to, would or could you for me please, could you possibly, I'd appreciate it if you would or could, and can or could I ask you to. These phrases are clear, polite and grammatically accurate and work great on test day to request information. The next phrases we'll learn will be about checking a patient's understanding. These will be based on the key verbs check and determine. Checking and determining mean similar things. Listen to the way Mark transitions from one task to the next and uses the actual word when he starts the new task to make it clear to both the patient and the examiner. Thanks, Mrs. Smith. Now that I know when these headaches started, I'd just like to check whether you are taking any medication. Can you tell me about your medication usage? Did you notice how Mark could have said the word determine, as in, I'd like to determine, but this would have sounded a bit unnatural. So he went for the simple word check, which worked great. Now that we've checked or determined what the patient knows, the next set of phrases are related to giving information to the patient. These phrases relate to the key verbs on your role play card, explain, advise, recommend, and outline. These key verbs all have a similar function. Let's now listen to Mark give information and make it explicit that he's going to do this. Thanks for letting me know, Mrs. Smith. I'd now like to explain to you when and exactly how much medication you should be taking. Is that okay with you? Did you notice how Mark first thanked the patient, creating an atmosphere of respect, then told the patient explicitly what he intended to do, which was explain something to her, and then he asked for her permission. These are the types of speaking skills that the OET examiners love to hear. Now, sometimes the patient will be a little bit resistant. 
in which case you may have to change the patient's mind to accept something that they're reluctant about. The key verbs you might see in your task card might include persuade, emphasize, stress, promote, convince, express concern, or reinforce. Now listen to Mark persuade the patient to accept or do something that she's reluctant to accept or do. The patient will always give in, but you need to use the right language and change the tone of your voice in order to persuade the patient. I understand that you might be reluctant to change medications, Mrs. Smith, but I want to stress how important this is. You see, the medication you're currently on isn't suitable for the types of headaches you've been having. The new medication is much better suited. Do you have any issues with that? Did you notice how Mark used the explicit phrase, I want to stress the importance of? And did you also notice that he changed his tone? He was polite, but serious. He also invited the patient to raise any further questions she had. Some other phrases to persuade the patient might include, it's critical that, it's really important that, I can't stress how important, I am certain, I'm sure that you can see that, what needs to be done, or what we need to do, I ask you to think about. If you move forward with, or obviously, surely, if X were to happen then, although it may seem. Don't worry, while the patient will put up a bit of resistance, the patient will always give in to your expertise, but you need to frame it appropriately with some of the polite but firm language I just showed you. Okay, let's focus on the final task type, making the patient feel better. The need to empathize with the patient will be indicated by the verbs allay, reassure, encourage, and respond to. The patient will always have concerns. You need to find out what their concerns are and then address them using an empathic tone and appropriate language. You might actually use the verb from the task card in your response. Listen to how Mark makes his patient feel better about changing medications. I understand that changing medications can be daunting, Mrs. Smith. After all, you have been taking the same medication for quite a while, but I want to reassure you that the new medication is much safer and will be much more effective than your current medication. How does that sound? Mark has used the key verb reassure in his response to the patient, and he's used a lot of language around his response to actually reassure the patient. He's reframed her concerns, given reasons why, and then asked if she's okay about it. This is a great response. So just to summarize, on your role play card will be tasks, and these tasks have key functions indicated by key verbs. You might have to request information, as indicated by the verbs find out or ask. You might have to check understanding, as indicated by the verbs check or determine. You might have to give information, as indicated by the verbs explain, advise, recommend, outline, suggest, and discuss. You might have to change the patient's mind about something, as indicated by the verbs persuade, emphasize, stress, reinforce, promote, convince, and express concern. And you might have to make the patient feel better, as indicated by the verbs allay, reassure, encourage, and respond to. Thanks very much for watching. Remember that if you need more speaking help, including graded speaking mock tests, then check out e2testprep.com.